previous part we retrieve the pdfs into the recycler view and now in this part we're going to work on the uh, loading the pdfs into the activity with the help of one library cool so this video will be short video because we'll be just integrating the pdf viewer but in the next part we'll be downloading the pdfs with the help of download manager into the external device storage i could have implemented download manager in this video but i wanted to keep uh, this functionalities in the different parts so yeah okay so let's just add the required dependencies so i'll just open my browser and i'll provide this link into the description box and this library is available in the j center so yeah we will be requiring the j center as well so i'll just copy this implementation and i'll paste it in the build.gradles over here and as we will be loading the pdfs into our app from the url so that is a long running task and we cannot perform that task into the main thread so we'll kind of require a pull thread or kind of a coroutine scope so for that what we'll do i'll just add another dependency which is lifecycle dependency and we can get it from this google.android.com and i'll also provide this link so so we don't require the view model and the live data so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it over here we also need the life cycle version so i'll copy this and i'll paste it over here cool so this pdf viewer library is in the j center so in order to support the j center or download the uh, this library from the j center we need to specify the j center over here so j center and we also need to enable the jt file so i'll just duplicate this line and instead of use android x I'll write enable JT fire cool and I'll click on the sync now cool so gradle build has been synced successfully so if you remember in the previous part if you go to the all PDFs activity and if if user clicks on the PDF from the adapter we have this interface function so we override it in the activity so here what we are doing we are passing this data file name and download url with the help of intent so first of all what we'll do in the pdf your activity uh, we just have the instance of binding first so private late init mark binding and this will be of type activity pdf your binding we can initialize the binding over here And we need to pass the layout inflator and instead of passing the layout we can just write binding dot root over here cool so now uh, we'll receive the file name that we passed with the intent so we just need to write intent dot uh, extras i guess yeah extras dot get string and key will be file name and as it is nullable we just need to write question mark here cool i'll just duplicate this line and this will be download url and the key will be download url as well so this one so make sure your key is same otherwise you won't you won't get the data with the intent so in the activity pdf here uh -huh, okay so i have implemented this i use coordinator layout here because in the next part we'll be displaying the snack bar and it also has the fab button so we want this fab button to move up when the snack bar displays so that's why we are using coordinator layout here and we'll be using that snack bar progress of the download so yeah so this is constraint layout again and we have the floating action button over here so you'll get this uh, xml files in the source code so yeah what we'll do here we'll just add the pdf viewer that we get from the library I'll keep its width and height to 0 dp and I'll provide it an ID so ID will be again PDF view and I'll constrain its width and height to the 0 dp um, parent so we'll jump to the all PDFs activity now and PDF your activity sorry I'll close the all PDFs activity and here I'll launch one coroutine with the help of lifecycle scope and this 
and I'll use the launch function here and here what we'll do I'll also specify the dispatcher so I'll use dispatches.io cool so we'll perform the uh, long running task which is loading the PDFs from the URL into this dispatcher.io because it can lead to the ANR if we do it on the main thread so I'll just uh, create one variable here which will be input stream and what we'll do I'll use a uh, URL function which is coming from java.net yes this one and I'll pass the download URL there and I'll call one function which is open stream so we'll get the streams here in the dispatches.io and then we can use uh, the stream in order to load the PDF into our PDF viewer so for that uh, we'll write with context and I'll pass a dispatcher dot main here because we want to load the PDF and it is a UI so whatever the UI operations we do it on the main thread and the blocking code which is to load the PDF from this URL we'll do it in the dispatcher dot IO which is which is a blocking code cool so in here what I will do I'll call binding dot PDF view dot from string for from stream and we have the input stream over here then I'll call another function which is on render and here we get uh, we can pass the listener but instead I'll use the lambda as I already know the parameters that we get from here so pages and page width I guess yeah page width and page height cool so here we can have one check if pages is greater than equals to 1 means we have loaded the PDF so here what we can do we can just uh, make our progress bar invisible as it is visible initially so view dot gone so if you go to the UI you will see it is visible at the start then we'll make it gone when we load the PDF and here we just need to call the one function which is load cool so this way uh, we can load the PDFs into our app so let's just try to run the app and we'll see it's working or not okay so we misspelled the enable GT file so let's just go back to the build dot uh, gradle properties and let's just okay I just wrote double T's here so yeah let's just click on the sync now and I'll run the app again cool so it is installed and and if I click on the show all button it will load the PDFs and uh, from the real time DB and now I'll click on this PDF cool so progress bar and once we load the PDF you can see the progress bar is gone and this PDF has been loaded cool so yeah that's it for this video in the next part we'll work on this fab button and we'll download the PDFs into our external storage with the help of download manager so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching